Welcome to the Porn Reboot Podcast, where you get practical tips to gaining control over your porn or sex addiction. We help ambitious men end their out-of-control sexual behavior with pornography, sex, and masturbation so that you can maximize your life, perform at your potential, and remain in control in the driver's seat, which is where you have to be in order to gain or maintain the success you want in life. I'm your host, J.K. Amazi, Certified Sex and Porn Addiction Recovery Coach. Welcome to the episode. Brothers, anyone can talk the talk, but not everyone can walk the walk. And that's why here at Porn Reboot, where we do walk the walk, I'll be sharing every few episodes some snippets of success stories and testimonials from brothers who are in our implementation intensive and in our free groups and they're going to be sharing some of the results they've been getting so that this can further inspire you to take action on all the different tips and techniques that you learn while listening to the Porn Reboot Podcast. Enjoy. What's going on, my fellow brothers in the struggle? It is Chris here. I am so, so happy to be joined with somebody who is coming to us from the Porn Reboot Implementation Group. We are here with my guy, Joel. What is good, sir? How you doing? What's going on, man? Good. Beautiful weather today. We had some bad storms supposedly supposed to come in last night, but they didn't actually come in like we anticipated. So good weather today. Beautiful day. Ready for the weekend and week. Just enjoy. Good stuff, man. Yeah, we got some storms going on here, so I envy you. But right off the bat, thank you once again for making the time and taking the time to talk to us today. Right off the bat, how did you first find the Porn Reboot Group? Yeah, man. So I was struggling with pornography for many years like many of our brothers have obviously and in different aspects of their lives and i just got to a point in my life where i was really fed up with what was going on in my life to where i felt like i had no control over my compulsive behavior so from that desire to search out freedom i seeked out different outlets friends different resources through online Especially, you know, in those beginning stages, I'm sure a lot of people have felt different types of shame and guilt of not wanting to reach out publicly to people. So you do what every other guy does and start Googling stuff to see what you can find. In my research, I actually stumbled upon JK, not the actual implementation program, but just JK himself and just how he stood for an advocate of being free from sexual addiction. And I saw him on different YouTube channels and as a guest on different podcasts and stuff like that. And I somehow subscribed to his email chain. And so I was actually getting his emails for some time. And then over those months and years, I was constantly getting emails from him. And I realized after I was still struggling for all those years as well. And I finally realized I started looking to his emails a little bit more and paying attention a little bit more closely. And I realized he had a whole implementation program. And that's how I kind of stumbled upon it. I, I started to look into it a little bit more and I got into a point in my life where I was in a relationship, my girlfriend, who was now my wife at the time. And even during that time, when we first started dating, I was completely open with her about my struggle with pornography because I didn't want to hide that from her as just guilt side from my aspect. And every time I would slip up or have a relapse, I would admit it to her and be open about what had happened. And it really, I saw how much it really hurt her. And at that point, I was like, Hey, I, I, something's got to give. And so that's how it kind of came up on the program and um, decided to go with it. And it's been, I signed up last year, April 27th of 2023 was the day I signed up for it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing that. So you found JK through guys like us. We knew our way around the internet. Yeah. Oh yeah. (laughs) That's a good one. Found JK through his, you know, various podcast appearances and signed up for his, like his newsletter and his email chain and everything. I'm curious about what was the moment like when you were on his email chain? You're like, you know, there's something about this JK guy. I'm going to like sign up for this group. Like, where were you at emotionally? What were your habits like at the time? What was the day, if from what you can remember, like, what was it like actually joining the group for the first time? Yeah. So I think subscribing to his email chain was just scratching the surface of of what people can actually imagine to do as far as becoming free from sexual addiction. As far as the moment, again, I think after realizing how much it was hurting my girlfriend, wife at the wife now was 
I saw how much it hurt her, so I decided to go all in because JK was actually the only, let's say, like email chain like newsletter I was actually subscribed to that targeted specifically pornography and sexual compulsive behavior, specifically in that category. So I was like, this is somebody who I've been getting emails from a long time. And so I might as well just check it out and see what he has to offer. I knew that he would have content and programs and stuff like that because he had been consistently sending it all these years and it was at my availability. So I was just like, why not? I'll go for it all in, you know, make something happen. So the day I actually signed up was probably the one of the biggest commitments I've made. I would say from speaking from like financial aspect, like as far as the commitment aspect, all those things was a big commitment on my end. And I think that really showed my wife then that I was serious about ending my compulsive behavior and that really boosted her and helped allowed her to have trust in me as her future husband and whatnot. So yeah, big, big step overall. So very liberating and validating in that aspect, which kind of propelled me all the way to this moment now. Yeah, yeah. And I want to hear all about that journey, but specifically the very, very beginning stages when you are introduced. So you join the group, right? You're in right. all the modules and the community. What was the beginning stages of your reboot process like? At the beginning, I was very motivated. And JK, I know, talks a lot about willpower and guys having this false kind of idea about just going through just based solely on your willpower. And I think that's a lot of mistakes guys make a lot of the times with a lack of accountability and just the tools, the modules and everything you have that are supposed to help you, you know. So I think in the very beginning, I was very motivated. In those very beginning stages, motivated. I was like, this is going to be great. I'm going to end this like in no time. And then that wasn't the case at all. It was... At first, it was very hard to be consistent with the modules and using the tools that I had in hand and even reaching out to my accountability partner and stuff at the time was very difficult in the beginning stages. And I remember the time I signed up was, again, April 27th, and I was actually planning to get married. We did get married, but at the time, we were planning to get married August 26th of the same year. So we had a lot of plans going on during those same times. And so in my mind, I'm like, man, can I really... Even though I had already said I was going to make the commitment, I was leaning back on my commitment and being like, man, maybe I should pull out because it's a lot for me to handle and focus on at the moment, financially speaking, and just like my mental and like where everything was at the moment. Yeah. So it was kind of not, I don't want to say all over the place, but I wasn't, it was a rude awakening to say the least. Yeah. You know, when we, I love how you specified like, oh, this is going to be great because you're coming into this group, guns blazing, totally ready to go. And you were expecting that quick change and right. we quickly discover like that rude awakening is that right. this is in fact a process. But I want to hear about that process and you know where it's sort of led you to where you're at now. But before we even get there, like what was your experience overall like in the group, would you say? I think it's been great. I mean, just the fact that there's a whole group and you're always encouraged day in and day out of just the hundreds of, or like thousands of guys out there just in the group alone, like hundreds of thousands of guys, but I'm sure outside of the group and all over the world, there are so many people that are in the same boat and the same position you are in, you know, obviously. So I think it, it was great to have a structure around the certain tools and all the modules with all the information and certain things you should do as far as your accountability partners and routines you should be following. It's almost like if you just take a step back, it's almost like common sense, some of the stuff that are in here, but it's like we never think to even apply these because we're like, oh, we're guys, we can figure everything out on our own. You know, but if it gets figured out, being a part of a structured group really opened up a lot of doors for me in different areas of my life, for sure. So yeah, I'm, I'm very appreciative of the group and what JK has set up. That's awesome, man. Sincerely, that's awesome. Have you gotten a chance to hop on some of the group coaching calls? Yeah, a few of them. Just like the other day, I was on a um, call with Coach Milan. I always forget the name of that that call. Um, neuro, neuro Yeah, Neuro Reprogram. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good call to be on. And I think even aspects such as like that to where there's professional people that can help you out in specific parts of your life and you can just ask questions. And they'll give you good honest feedback is always good, obviously. So very encouraging. That's awesome, man. I'm glad you got that encouragement from that because that's yeah. why the coaches are there. Their concept of reboot capital where there's specific aspects of our life that we could intentionally invest into. 
So maybe sure. working on things like mindset, then we go to somebody like Coach Milan. Maybe right. we're working on something like trauma or communication, right. getting in touch with feelings. You can get in okay. touch. We're working on just you know, the ins and outs of addiction and like our own self-talk and motivation. Right. Talk to somebody like Dr. Rake. And, and of course, we've got JK, who is the you know expert of experts on like porn and sex right. addiction. We've got a plethora of ways to kind of hit not just aspects of our addictive patterns, but of our life patterns. Yeah, for sure. One thing you'll find fairly quickly is that this is more than just the porn group. It's porn is just a thing that we've been medicating certain stuff with. That's why we're having these different coaching calls to focus on that stuff. Yeah. So I'm curious, you know, had there been, with all that being said, had there been any sort of realizations or things you learned about yourself along this journey? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think a huge theme in this group is to be consistent. Yeah, just that, just to be consistent with everything that you're doing. So I think that's always a huge realization of, I think it really goes back to what I was saying before about having that rude awakening in the beginning, because I think we're so conditioned in this, especially in this day and age to have everything at the snap of our fingertips, have everything so quickly. And it's a rude awakening, but it's also I feel like rude awakening kind of has a bad connotation, but rude awakening, but also it's like a, a great realization, as you put it to it's like an enlightenment in a way to where you realize you see the beauty in in time and patience and consistency as long as you do everything consistently over time like things will change like slowly but realistically speaking nothing will ever change overnight so i think that's always a big realization i've had i've had throughout the group multiple times being realized of the tools that we're supposed to use and all the resources that we're supposed to use it just takes time and consistency and it's always just like whenever i've had something like some kind of mental lapse or I've, I've questioned what I'm doing. It's always like, I'm always reminded of how it's just like, just relax, man. Everything will be good. Just, it'll just take time, you know, just keep using the tools and just keep pressing on. Everything yeah. will be good. Press on. I mean, that is, that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, for sure. Speaking of the tools, like what has your experience been like using those tools and what tools have you gotten the most out of? I think probably one of my favorite tools has definitely been the skill of developing a morning routine. I think that that really, when I see how that aligns with our life outside of the group, just on a daily basis, how that kind of sets up your whole day and how you start the day really boosts the rest of your day. And really how you end your night is based on how you start your day and just developing a good morning routine and a good habit day in and day out. And just, yeah, just setting yourself for success every single day. I, I think that has been definitely one of my favorite because I know a lot of my friends and my family, like we, we've always just, just wake up whenever you can do whatever, like whatever bring comes your way for that day. Just do whatever without any kind of routine or anything set in place. So definitely that has definitely been one of my tops. I love that. Thanks. Yeah. I love that. Thanks for sharing that. One question that I did have for you was if you could go back in time, hypothetical, right? From, you know, making one of the biggest commitments you've made, like the way you worded it before, and maybe like finds another brother who would be feeling a similar type of way. This is a huge commitment. Yet here I am searching for freedom the way you mentioned with this shame and guilt and struggling in silence the way you and I know about very, very well. Is there anything that you would want to say to somebody like that? Yeah, man. Uh, I think I'll go back to something that was told to me years before the first time I actually reached out to somebody else about my porn addiction was he just simply, I sent him this huge paragraph and the guy just replied with a simple statement saying, you're not alone, period. So that's it. I think that sums it all up in, in a good statement to where, first of all, they're not by themselves. They can be hopeful and encouraged that there's light on the other side of the tunnel, you know, obviously being addicted to pornography for, I feel like, ever since I was like 11. So like close to 16 years, about 16 years and being able to abstain for this long after being hooked for that many years, I think is probably one of the biggest wins of my life for sure. You never think that you'll be able to overcome something like that, but then it happens. You, you always talk about it, but it, it's another level to when you can experience it yourself. So for the brothers out there, definitely that are struggling and if I could have gone back and told other brothers for sure, you're not alone. And there's always, there's always a way out. Never give up. Yeah. Please. 
nice cliche, but never give up. Yeah, well, listen, it's a, it's a cliche for a reason, right? Yeah, you know? literally. And I yeah. love that you said it's one thing to think it or say it and another thing to experience it for yourself. Yeah, for sure. That's one thing that was one of the biggest game changers for me when I was in my reboot and a member of the group. There, oh, wait, there's other guys that are experiencing almost the same exact thing. Right. It's like we all have our own life stories and our particular needs as individuals, but at the end of the day, we're all trying to achieve a similar goal. So just to be in that community was, you know, a huge game changer for me. And I'm glad that it was for you too. The simple, right. so true sentiment, you're not alone. And thank you so right. much for putting on that. Yeah, so for sure. We to, yeah, man. So before we start to wrap on up, simply, would you, with all that being said, would you recommend this program for somebody who would be struggling? Yeah. Yeah. Thousand, thousand percent. It's a big commitment, but it's a big commitment for obvious, for the obvious reasons of, would you rather, I think I... Before I move on, I actually want to give a huge shout out to David. I don't know his last name, but David, the one that helps bring everybody in for the incoming calls, because I was actually very close to quitting the group very soon on in, in the, in those months where I was like really just dis not distracted, but I was like, man, can I handle this along with the wedding and everything going on? And I remember having a call with David and he just slapped me with the truth in my face. And he was just like, before we had the call, he had watched my testimonial video that I had sent to the group about why I wanted to quit pornography and the whole shebang about that. And he's like, man, you should go back and watch. Like, I can't believe you're wanting to quit. And I was just like, wow, that was, that was probably the most, one of the most convicting calls I've ever had with him. So I just want to give him a huge shout out because he's, he really played a huge part in me sticking with the group and just continuing on from that moment. Otherwise I probably wouldn't have been continuing, you know? So yeah, I would definitely recommend it. It, you can just see through the members in the group of all the different types of guys that are in here from sons to fathers, to grandfathers, to bosses, to different types of people and different aspects of their life, different professions, like people you'd never think that are struggling with this, people that have been struggling for way longer than I have. Or It just shows how, how damaging this kind of addiction can be to a person, but also how liberating you can be if you just commit and it's not that long of a commitment versus how long you've probably been addicted to the pornography itself. Definitely a huge recommendation to JK and the whole team for all the years of research that they put in, all the hard work that they put in to make the successful implementation program. That's awesome, man. I'm so glad that you feel that way. And it's awesome to see you win for real. Thanks, brother. So all the best to you. Thank you so much for your time. Hey, thank you so much, man. Thanks, Chris. I'm JK, your brother in this struggle. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Porn Reboot Podcast. I'll speak to you later on in the week. If you found this episode helpful, here are four ways I can help you with your out of control sexual behavior for free. The first way is to grab a free copy of my book, Confessions of a Porn Addict, Seven Secrets of Porn Free Men at elevatedrecovery.org or visit the link in the description below this episode. The second way is if you're not sure where to start, but you'd like to learn more about my team and I, if you'd like to spend time with like-minded professionals and business owners who are controlling their behavior, then join our free and confidential group, The Porn Reboot Group on Facebook. There's a link to join in the description below this episode. The third way is if you need help right now because you have a burning issue, your behavior with pornography is hurting you mentally or emotionally, you're about to lose your relationship, you want to live up to your potential, be an authentic man and free yourself from shame, guilt and underachieving, then click on the link in the description below this episode that says free coaching call. And the fourth way is to leave us a five star review if you enjoy this podcast so that we can reach more men who are struggling in silence and bring back the lessons we learn from coaching them to freedom. 